So this is the clips on under the hood. You can see that we've connected a single pair of cables into the input and this pair of cables carries the entire frequency range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is the input. It goes through the low pass filter inside which says which sends all the frequencies below 200 hertz to your woofer and then the second signal for your tweeter and mid-range come out over here. And here you now see we have two separate connections, one going to the tweeter and one going to the mid-range. So that's how all three drivers are separated even though the input signal is the entire frequency spectrum from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So I just mentioned a three-way speaker has two crossovers, but what is a crossover? So imagine this, right? The speaker is taking in the entire audio range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Your tweeter reproduces frequencies from 2000 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Your mid-range reproduces frequencies from 200 hertz to 2000 hertz and your low frequency driver reproduces frequencies from 30 hertz to 200 hertz. So when the full range signal comes in, there is a piece of electronic circuitry that divides the mid-range and the woofer. So that piece says everything below uh, 200 hertz goes to the woofer and everything above goes to these two drivers. Then there is a second piece of circuitry that says everything below 2000 hertz comes to the mid-range and everything above 2000 hertz goes to the tweeter. So there are two pieces of electronic circuits, one after the other, one that sends everything lower than 200 to the woofer and everything above that to these two, and a second one that further separates your tweeter and your mid-range. And those two pieces of electronic circuitry are called crossovers. In the case of a two-way speaker, you only need one piece of circuitry because that says everything below 1000 hertz goes to the woofer, everything above 1000 hertz goes to the tweeter. So therefore, a two-way speaker has only one crossover. And so again, so what I talked about right now was a bit of theory behind speaker terms and speaker design. But when you're buying the speaker for your home, like I said earlier in the video, there's nothing to substitute coming in and having a listen. And you'd be surprised with what you thought you would like and what you actually end up liking. So always come in, go to a demo showroom, go to as many showrooms as you, as you can, figure out the kind of sound you like, and that's how you buy a speaker that you can enjoy for generations to come.